Hello, I am getting ready to go to Burke's, the Dollar Tree, Target, potentially, and Hobby Lobby. Um, I thought I would take you guys along for the journey and kind of show you um, what kind of stuff each one of the stores has out and do just kind of a little shop with me day. It is Saturday. Oh, my goodness, and I just woke up, so it's a lazy day. Um, we were supposed to go to the Nashville flea market today, but it is raining, as you can see, um, again, <laughs> here in Tennessee, so that kind of got called off. Um, they may still be having it, but it just, it wasn't, I didn't really want to like walk around outside in the rain because the inside is still shut down. So it's still just an outside fair. Um, but yeah, so I am on my way to Burke's first and I will see you guys there. Um, okay, so I just went to the Dollar Tree and I didn't get a whole lot of filming done. I filmed in the very beginning um, some of the um, seasonal stuff that they had, but I got kind of wrapped up in shopping <laughs> as I usually do at the Dollar Tree. So I didn't get very much filming done. I am over here at Burke's, which is in the same little shopping center now, and I'm about to go in here. Sure, I don't think I can record in here. Um, I've never tried, but... I mean, it's just like, I don't know, it's hard to shop and record at the same time, but anyhow, um, so a little bit about the day that I was supposed to have today. I was, um, this morning, my husband and I were supposed to go to the flea market um, the Nashville flea market and, but it was like kind of rainy and, you know, just kind of icky outside. Anyhow, I told him, I was like, I'm just not feeling it today. And I was like, you know, you know how we get sometimes where we just like, we really need time to ourselves, And that's kind of how I was feeling. So I told him, I was like, you know, Hey, why don't you stay home and play video games today and let me go do a little bit of errands, go run some errands, go do a little bit of shopping and just kind of have a little bit of time to myself. And he was like, absolutely. As my mom would call it, exercising my womanly prerogative. <laughs> I love that. Um, that's what she's always called it. Um, but every now and again, we just need to kind of get away from everybody else and be alone with our thoughts. And for me, the last, for the past week, maybe two weeks now, um, I have been getting rid of a lot of stuff that I have in my house, a lot of material things um, that I was holding on to and I wasn't really sure why. And then I've been like working through a lot of emotions and stuff like that. Like, you know, all my kids are grown and I'm in my forties and I have four grandkids I don't need this stuff anymore. Like, I don't need this much stuff. And I started realizing that, you know, even the decor stuff just wasn't my style anymore. I, I had the same decor items, the same stuff that I had had pretty much since my first marriage. Um, some of it even as far back as when I still lived at home with my mom and dad. Y'all, that's how old some of this stuff was. Um, sorry, my hand got in the way. Um, 
my air is just like blowing like crazy because I mean it's let's see it's 69 degrees out here today so it feels it feels good outside but when you're in the car it gets kind of hot um but anyhow back to my story so I had all this stuff and so I've been slowly room by room getting rid of more and more stuff and I went through all of it like two weeks ago went through each room and then this past week I went back through each one of the rooms and like really dove in and dealt with some like issues, I guess, with getting rid of stuff. I had that guilt. Um, <laughs> like if it's something that my kids gave me or something that my mom gave me or something that my best friend gave me or, you know, anything like that, I have that guilt of getting rid of it. Like, I don't want them to be mad at me, but at the same time, it's like, that's not my style anymore. It was when you got it for me and, or gave it to me and I really appreciated it then. So I felt like I was holding on to a lot of things for other people and which made my house a house and it felt less like home and was beginning to feel less and less like home for me. So like I said, the last couple of weeks I've been like cleaning everything out. I called all of my family, all of my friends and was like, Hey, I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff. If you see that I've gotten rid of something that you gave me, or is there anything that you gave me that is like particularly special that you really wish that I wouldn't get rid of or that you might want back? And everybody said the exact same thing. Oh, Lord, no. We don't want that stuff back. <laughs> I'm shocked you still have it. And so I realized that it was it was my issues that was causing me to hang on to stuff, not theirs. Um, another, like, big issue that I was thinking about on my way over here was, you know, I went from, we, were, we weren't well off when I was a kid. We were pretty, pretty we were pretty poor. Um, when my mom was married to my biological dad and we weren't, we were better when she married my stepdad, um, who I call dad. Um, but she, she, we were better off than we were. Um, like we wasn't going hungry anymore. You know, we had food and stuff, but I found like, even then, I was like holding on to things just in case. And then when I got married the first time, I've been married twice. When I got married to my first husband and we started having our kids and stuff and we were getting stuff, I was like without so much stuff, you know, we were, we were a young couple. I was just out of high school and I mean, just out of high school. Um, like I went to my graduation pregnant. I went to my prom pregnant. So, um, that's how early I started having my kids. And anyhow, so we were like really, really, really poor. And he was the type of person that, um, he, he didn't, if he didn't like a job, he would just quit. Um, he, he wasn't very good with his follow through. He had no ambition whatsoever. And I'm not talking bad about him. Um, you know, it's, it's who he was. And I knew that when I married him. Um, but eventually we grew apart, you know, and things happened and we divorced. But then I was left as a single mom of three and I had everything kind of stripped away from me in my twenties. Um, late 20s and early 30s and I just had like I had nothing again um there was even a point where I was homeless and it, it just things got really bad but that's a story for another time anyhow um the reason why I'm sharing all this with you is because I think sometimes when you go so long with without when you actually have the means to have stuff or you get stuff along the way, it's like you can't let go of it just in case. You know, there's always that nagging thing in the back of your head. Like, I might be able to use this or I might need this and I may not be able to go and get it again if I need it or if I want it, you know. So, I found that I hoard things and it's not just I think I just like spit everywhere. Um, it's not just like decor items or household items or things like that. Y'all, it's even food. Like I, I, it's just me and my husband and 
I was going through my pantry the other day and I was like, why do we have so much food in this house? And I was like, this is ridiculous. Why do I stockpile this stuff? And it's that, that fear, I think, that's deep down inside, that fear that I'm going to lose everything again or that things will just disappear again um, and I'll be without. And that's scary. So coming to that realization has made it a lot easier for me to get rid of things now because I am on my second marriage um, to my husband now, Cody. And he is, he's amazing. He's a collector, but he's not one of those overzealous collectors. The stuff that he collects is like, he collects vintage or older video games and consoles and things like that. And, but they all get used, like they all get played and stuff. And he has like this one little area in our room that he keeps all of his stuff. The whole rest of the house was literally just my baggage. And he has moved that now. Him and my friends have moved all of that stuff several times. And I was thinking to myself, like, before, while my kids were still at home, I kind of understand. I wasn't ready to give up that just-in-case-I-need-it mentality. But now I am. I'm, I'm secure enough now that I'm in my 40s and, you know, I run my own business um, my husband has an amazing job and we have amazing friends and amazing family that if anything was to happen, I won't be left out in the cold anymore. I don't have those same fears anymore of being abandoned and being without just basic necessities. So anyway that being said that's what i'm doing here at burke's <laughs> i'm sure you guys wanted to know all that um but that i'm here at burke's and what i'm doing is because i've gotten rid of so many things and so much stuff i have started the few things that i kept that i want to replace i want to replace with things that i really like things that match who i am now and kind of my personality now i'm a lot different than i was um you know 20 years ago I mean, 20 years ago, I was in my 20s. I was young. I was naive. I was, whew, yeah, that saying, if I only knew then what I know now, yeah. Anyhow, um, so I'm going in here to look around and see if anything kind of sparks my attention. I'm really looking for specific items, though. I'm not just, you know, anything that I like I'm going to buy. I'm looking for specific key items for my house now so that it can be functional and decorative at the same time. This channel is still fairly new. And so if you're watching this, I appreciate you so much because this channel is going to be a little bit different. It's just going to be kind of this, just me talking and like, I don't know. It's going to be kind of therapy. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, uh, it's going to be a lot of different things, but I really just want to kind of put myself out there and let the world know, hey, y'all, this is me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to jump off here and I am going to go over here and go into Burks because people are starting to stare at me talking into my phone in the car. <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit. Um, I got a pillow for the couch. I got a rug for the front door and I got a new utensil holder for the kitchen that is just a simple white jar instead of like a big long like wooden thing that I usually use on the counter because I don't have a lot of space on my counters right now. So, I, oh, excuse me. I am getting ready to head to Hobby Lobby next, and then I am going to probably stop for lunch after that because Hobby Lobby, I just need to run in and grab some wood rounds. Hello. So today is Monday, and I did not get my video done over the weekend like I wanted to. Um, I done a bunch of shopping and then last night my youngest daughter called and wanted to know if we wanted to go to dinner. So me and my husband went and picked her up and we went to dinner and visited her and kind of looked around her new apartment and 
um, let her show us, you know, how she had it decorated and all that good stuff. Um, so today I am at work in my office. I've got my sublimation printing um, for some orders that came in over the weekend that I'm working on. I have another order that is already made that I need to box up and get to the post office today. After that, I think I'm going to <clears throat> probably concentrate on finishing up the kitchen and the kitchen counters and, and getting that done. And if I have time, I'll probably do the fridge today. And then at some point this weekend, I want to get to the master bath and try to get that cleaned up. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going through each room of the house and I'm like detail cleaning and getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, well, not detail cleaning. I'm just doing a quick clean. I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Like I'm purging a lot of stuff out of each room, room by room. And then after that, I will take you guys with me on my deep clean. So once I get everything the way I want it, I'm going to go in and do like a massive clean with each one of the rooms. Um, so yeah, so it looks like this sublimation is almost finished. I'm going to jump off here and then, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little impromptu rant. <laughs> um, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that little bell icon to get notifications of every time that I upload to this channel. I am going to try to upload um, every Wednesday and Sunday. I don't know how that's going to work, but um, at least I will be posting on Sundays for sure. So I may do every other Wednesday and every Sunday. I'm not sure just yet. Um, just trying to kind of fill out this video um, or this channel and kind of see how I want things to go. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.